this has been a really wonderful evening with, with my friends. What wonderful, what a range of, of, of language that these, these people offer. I just, I'm pretty knocked out. Anyway, Isidore is a, uh, as George suggests, is a, a book of four sections. And I'm just going to kind of flip through some of the sections. But it's a book that's uh, dedicated to the dogs. Dear bear, be aware, this door should make you stop and stare. Mostly fur and pretty thick. The bark is gone, but the scent is fixed. Dear dogs, late at night, our hunger is a love that bites. Kick it open, make it slide. Where's a door we haven't tried? Winter, 65th year. The roads feel longer after 54, the age my father danced to as he fell to the ballroom floor, dreaming of islands, motion, mountains, and oceans crossed. A final new bed for the back, a little pain behind our conversation, another winter full of night. It's dark, brightened by the snow, Foot falls awkward, a hesitation. Older but knowing no better, still in love, wanting that good song to be sung, inging it ahead into the dark, beyond the high beam, hoping. And I'll just read this last one. It's, uh, it, I just realized when I was reading it tonight, it's, it's, my, it's for my daughter Erica. Uh, we were, I was teaching her to drive, and we were out on the prairies and uh, heading home from a family reunion in Saskatchewan, and we had found this long gravel road. It was about, I don't know, 30 or 40 miles of huge, wide prairie gravel road with nothing on it, no traffic. And I said, okay. We have a Toyota Land Cruiser. I don't know if you know what those are. They're like, it's, uh, you know, f uh, five gears and, you know, it's big, heavy. It's like a tank. And uh, this is what she learned to drive on. Anyway, words for prairie. Nose for alfalfa and sage hills, distant, dust behind, all that the eye can, daughter, you beside me not looking, looking. Why get it? Us jest. Right here? Thanks very much for coming out. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all my friends for coming out too. So. Do you have anything else to say, George? <laughs> Say a few words about Talon books first, about the relationship between Talon books and poetry. Talon started off as a magazine by a high school kid named David Robinson at McGee High School and started it up in 1963, which was just about the time when the Tisch crowd moved to all kinds of different cities to create poetry elsewhere. And then four years later, Talon published its first book of poetry.